Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm your astrologer, Mary Trimble, here with your readings for November the 4th through November the 10th. Um, if you're new, welcome. I really hope you like these readings and that you'll stick around and come back. Um, and thank you for stopping by. And if you are returning, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your loyalty and, and love. Um, so thank you. Thank you for coming back. And um, what else? These are general readings, guys. So um, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't assume that everything I say here is applicable to you. Sometimes spirit has a specific message uh, for someone who really needs to hear it. Um, so if you would like a more tailored, in-depth, personal reading, please click on this link here, which will take you to my website and you can see all the different uh, readings and kinds of readings that I offer. Now, um, what else? Uh, I have a Facebook group, guys, and I do a live feed every two weeks in that Facebook group. One for the full moon and one, it correlates with the full moon and the new moon. And we look at how that affects, how you're receiving that in your chart. So whoever's, uh, you know, attends those live recordings within the group gets to look at their horoscope and how they're receiving the new moon or the full moon. And also I have tarot cards on hand for, uh, you know, for questions. So we have a good time in that group. Um, it's a private group, so you need to ask to join it. The link will be below in the show more section. All the links to the other videos, because this is for your sun, moon and rising, will be in the, sec the show more section below. Um, another way to support this channel is through Patreon, guys. And you can click on this link here to check out my Patreon page. It really helps me. Um, it Look, it's it, you can either help, you don't have to. I'm just saying check it out and see if you want to. I post things there that I don't post anywhere else. I have a really exciting post coming up for that soon. Now, uh, what else? Yes, this these readings come in three sections. The intro, which is this, and the uh, astrology report, and then the tarot reading. So I have the skip times to all those in the show more section below. Everything is below. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go to the astrology report, shall we? Hello and welcome to the astrology report section of your reading. And we don't have a lot going on this week. We've got some minor aspects, but the ones that I picked out, um, I think are uh, kind of relevant relevant. So, um, on Tuesday, November the 5th, Mars squares Pluto, and that is, a, it happens at 5.23 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, this can be a motivating as aspect, be it through fear, anger, frustration, or necessity. Um, things are brought to our attention, and we will have the, en uh, the energy and the stamina to address them and take the appropriate action. Um, Listen, it's a perfect energy for sports. It's for pushing oneself to the limits. It's to it's really good to burn off all aggressive and intense uh, intensive energy, which we will feel on that day. On the dark side, it's kind of a predator energy, and on the light side, it's a protector. Um, whatever the case may be, this is the, you know, it's like dappling in danger, light or dark. Um, it's like, you know, it's one of those, it's a, like an energy that you rush to jump off the ledge without fear, total cour courageous and daring energy. Um, it also kind of brings on a very high <laughs> libido with a penchant for adventure and exploration. It's like, how far can we go? <laughs> now, on November the 8th at 12.57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun is trying to Neptune. Almost at the same time, the sun, just a little bit before the sun sextiles Saturn, and a bit later that day, Saturn sextiles uh, Neptune. Now, this is a perfect cosmic soup with which to create something visionary, right? This is how you can channel this energy. It's, 
it's brilliant for writing, writing novels. It's, it's, you know, for the visual arts. It's something that you can do that whatever you love to create, uh, what a, artistry, anything like that. The sun is shining on Neptune, um, which is also receiving a lovely ray from Saturn, which will give the structure, right? And the discipline to carry out the necessary actions to manifest um, any creation that you wish to um, create. And I use that twice. <laughs> Anyway, let's go to uh, your tarot reading, shall we? Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your reading for November the 4th, the tarot card section of your reading for November the 4th through the 10th. And um, one last shuffle. I have been shuffling for hours off screen. I've got to stop that. I go into the zone. Okay, this is for Virgo. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Virgo for the week of November the 4th through the 10th? Three cards for Virgo, please. Three cards for Virgo. Two more cards for Virgo. Two more cards for Virgo. Two more cards for Virgo. One, two, okay. Okay. Oh, you've got four, darling. Okay. Now let's go to your clarifying card, shall we? You have, it's interesting, there's a card that keeps coming up. It's come up in nearly all the readings. Every week there's always one, at least one, sometimes two. There's crossovers, so if you know your sun, moon, and rising, then check them out. Okay, so these are clarifying cards for Virgo. What wonderful gifts, guidance, blessings, and helpful information can you give Virgo through these clarifying cards for November the 4th through November the 10th? Please clarify. There we are. All right. Please clarify the... Okay, and please clarify Okay. All righty then. Let's look at your card, shall we? Okay, the first card out is the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Wands. Then you have the Six of Cups, clarified by the Five of Swords. Then you have the World and the Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Wands. Virgo, what is going on with you? Okay, so the first card out is the Eight of Swords. So you are feeling trapped in some way. You can feel trapped in a relationship, in, uh, in a job, in a career, in, uh, in a place, in an apartment, in a house, in a city, in a country. Whatever it is, you're feeling trapped. Now this is, um, the swords are the intellect, of, are the, the mind, cerebral, right? So this is an illusion. She's sitting in the middle of those swords and she's refusing to, almost refusing, she can't or she's refusing, she's unable or she's refusing to see the truth in the situation. It's almost like you know, you think, oh, that's my lot in life. You know, I'm not going to this, it, you know, this this story has been going round and round in your head for many years. And so you're just believing that that's the outcome, that you, there's no way out of this situation, that you are trapped within it. But as I said before, this is the intellect. So it's not real. Um, so it's really important. Take the blindfold off and open your mind up to possibilities because your mind right now is closed. You are a prisoner of your mind. You've created this jail yourself. You've put the walls up. It's like, um, like a hologram in your mind. You have created this 
um, prison within your mind that feels really real. Um, Look, it's clarified by the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands, you know, has it all. This is like break out of jail, darling. <laughs> this is your break out of jail card. Break out of jail. She's, this is about confidence. She's all about confidence. She's very confident. She's, you know, she's the hostess with the mostest. She's a great wife. She's a wonderful mother. She's... You know, um, she's a career woman, an executive, you know, and she's out every night networking and she seems to make the time for everything. She's just like flawless. <laughs> she is ama- She's gregarious. She's the life of the party. She's charming. Um, but she's a fierce protector. Don't attack her family or she'll go for the jugular. So she's passion. You know, there's always two sides to passion, right? There's this wonderful, passionate, brilliant, creative side. And then there's this, the dual edge of the sword. Uh, Passion is anger and like, you know, you know, fierceness. Don't, don't mess with my family kind of thing. Um, I feel that you need to embody her a little more to get out there, to come out of your comfort zone. Sometimes this becomes our comfort zone, right? It's like we're okay with the storyline. We stay in the storyline because there are set parameters and we can cope with that. But this is saying it's time to break out, darling. Break out of that jail. See those holographic walls for what they are. You can actually walk through them. There's nothing stopping you from walking through them and freeing yourself. It's opening your mind to the possibilities of real life, of really enjoying yourself, of being happy, you know, um, instead of the pretense of being happy, but really being miserable within your own mind. Um And the next card out is the uh, Six of Cups. And this is about being in the past. This is about really kind of staying in the past. Perhaps that's where you're imprisoned in the past. Um, This, okay, so I I can't look at this without looking at the uh, clarifying card. And the clarifying card is the Five of Swords. This could be a conflict, and I feel that it's with perhaps more than one person. It can be with a sibling or siblings. Um, It can be with, uh, you know, somebody from your past. There is this, um, I want to say, nasty conflict going on. And it's one that, it's one that, um, it's like winning the, it's winning the argument at any cost. So it's have it's being combative. I feel that you're combative um, or you're, you have the tendency, you can have the tendency to be combative with those around you because, and this can be like, you know, it, an argument can turn, you can be condescending with someone um, in order to win it. So, in, you know, it's like telling someone they're stupid in a, Uh, passive aggressive it can be passive aggressive but it can be full out aggressive and calling people names and being uh nasty and it 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 can be both ways but look he's standing there and he's he's looking contemptuously at the people walking away whom he has um humiliated and taken away their swords and really belittled them um so it's winning a battle at any cost and so you're being asked to Uh, Be a little more tender, uh, empathetic, compassionate and uh, resist the urge to attack someone verbally or, you know, I mean, I'm hoping not physically, but verbally, uh, you know, softening the language. It's, uh, you know, it can be, you know, could have something to do with children, whatever this is for you. I mean, it it can be any number of factors, but there's a conflict going on that can get nasty. Um, and so you want to avoid um, humiliating someone just to win the argument because this argument can't be won. The other person will not see your point of view and you cannot see theirs. And so it's important not to kind of, think, first of all, don't engage in it. And if you do engage in it, 
it's self-control not to say anything and to, you know, agree to disagree. You know, a lot of people don't like that, but, you know, that's what you need to do. And look here, you have two cards here. So you have the world, right? And the world is um, an opportunity to completely change the tra tra trajectory of your life. That's Mercury in retrograde. I can't even talk. Um, so this can change the uh, direction of your life. <laughs> Let's keep it simple. Um, this is an opportunity. The universe has your back. It's like you can bring all your experience. You can do, you have an opportunity to do things differently. You can do the same old things and you'll get the same old results. Or you could just, you know, go off the path, the chosen path, and try something completely new. And look, right next to it is you've got the, um, You've got the two of pentacles, which makes me think that some of you may have two jobs or a job and you're embarking on your life purpose. Perhaps you're doing, a, you know, you've got a creative project going on. You, It's like a lot of stuff is happening. And um, this, the two of pentacles is about you being able, whatever's being thrown at you, you can handle it, Virgo. You can. Um, you are the multitasker. Um, but you must keep your eye on the ball. If you're at work, be at work. If you're at home, be at home. Whatever you are doing, do it 100%. Don't be distracted by, you know, if you're at work, at home. Take Don't take phone calls. Turn your phone off when you're at home, you know, or at work. Unless you definitely need to have it on. Don't be distracted by your phone or messages or emails a lot a certain time to check them and at other times be 100% uh, present. And look, clarifying it is you have to be present because you've got to keep your eye on the ball. Things are going to really start to shake up and move by the end of the week. Um, you have all these uh, opportunities flying in. It's almost like, you know, I, I've said this in the other things, you've got to become like a karate master to catch all these opportunities, you know. <laughs> Don't let them fly by you. Pay attention, Virgo. Grab them while they are coming in fast and furious. Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it with friends, family, neighbors, co-workers, social media, comment. I answer every comment and I uh, welcome feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah. I love you all and I'll see you next week.